<laughs> what a year it's been. 2021 has literally been the best year of my life. And when I say the best year of my life, I mean it. But I should also mention that it's also been the hardest year of my life. 21 has been chill, filled with challenges, struggles, moments of despair, moments when I wanted just to give everything up and walk away. But I didn't. I kept showing up day after day, working on creating a better life for myself and Lincoln. And that's what matters. Yes, you and I can be dealt the shittiest hand in life. But it's what we make of that suffering that matters. We can either stay a victim to our circumstances, our conditions, our environment, or we can choose to rise above, to grow, to become better. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if you're in a shitty spot that it doesn't suck because suffering is real. I've been there. There was a point in my life when I did not want to be on the planet and I tried to end it. I'm saying that somewhere along the line, you and I have a choice. And we have a choice to take what we experience, to learn from it, to heal it, and to use it as fuel to create the life that we desire. At the beginning of the year, I didn't know that I'd be where I am today. All that I knew was that there was a part of me that was scared. Scared that I wasn't going to get out of debt. That I wasn't going to be moving. That I was going to be stuck and stagnant. That I was going to be in a similar spot where I was when I started the year. I didn't set any goals. I didn't say that this is where I wanted to be. The only thing and the only intention that I set was to let my life unfold exactly how it was supposed to. And I didn't think that involved me paying off $17,000 of credit card debt in four months. I literally worked two jobs, slept on average 4.5 hours a night, still did the vlog, I meditated, I took care of myself, I worked out, and I took care of Lincoln. I didn't think I could have ever have held the capacity to do all of that, but I did. And it was nuts, like it was nuts to look back and think that I got out of $17,000 of credit card debt, something that I, for three years I thought I was never going to escape from, in four months. And I was able to make an extra $8,000 to set myself up with for the move. Like what? I didn't think that I was going to be packing up my bags and moving 1,400 kilometers away to a new city and starting over. Literally, like I said, there was a part of me that was like, oh no, 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 yeah, it's too big of a move for you to move away from everything you've ever known. But here I am in my brand new apartment in Victoria in the most beautiful location, which I'm excited to show you guys. But anyways, I didn't think that I was gonna hit 185 ice tips in a row. I woke up every single day and most days before Lincoln was even up. I walked out to the lake in the backyard, I chipped a hole with an axe and I got in that hole and it didn't matter the temperature, there was days where it was minus 50, days where it was minus 47 and it was the coldest it's ever been and I still got in the hole, I showed up for myself 185 days in a row. I did that. I didn't think that I was going to heal the relationships with my family in the ways in which I did. The ability to transcend the roles of being a son and seeing my dad as a father, and seeing my mom as a mother, and seeing my sister as a sister, and seeing them for being human, seeing them through the roles in which I've always known them, and meeting them at the human level. I've never felt that connection towards my parents of just love, like I love them. I tell them that I love them. That was something that I used to be scared of. I used to be scared to tell my dad that I love them. And now I tell my dad that I love him every time I talk to him. And I didn't think that Lincoln and I were going to adventure and have as many beautiful moments and beautiful memories together on the road, in hotels, in nature, in the mountains. But we did. We had so many great memories. So if my journey is not one of inspiration and hope, then I've portrayed it wrong. And for that, I'm sorry. I've been through so much shit and so much suffering in my life, like the most of us. And I'm still here every day showing up for my son, showing up for you, showing up for my family, showing up for the world, 
and showing up for me. So if 2022 is anything like 2021, I, I honestly have no idea where Lincoln and I are gonna be. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I don't even know what we're gonna look like. We're gonna look totally different. All that I know is that Lincoln's been growing so much lately. And I'm so excited for him. I'm so excited to watch him unfold into the beautiful human being that he is. And that's the biggest gift I think we get given as parents. Not the opportunity for them to be a part of our journey, but the opportunity to be a part of theirs and to see the world through their eyes and to witness that. To witness the world as it is and not what we've made it to be. So with that, my only intention of 2022 is much the same as that of 2021. To surrender to what God wants for me and to allow whatever to come through however it may. Because when I get out of my way, when I let go of my own wants, my own desires, my own needs, I surrender to that which is happening and unfolding in every single moment. And that is where the magic is because that is the miracle. So here is to 2022 may be the best year of yours, mine, and Lincoln's life. May we see the truth about who and what we are. And may we see the truth about our current circumstances to see the blessing that they really are. I wish you the best. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for your support and love. Link and I are so incredibly grateful and I know we say this almost every video, but it's the truth. We wish you all the best in 2022. May it bring you everything you deserve and more.